Good morning and happy Sabbath once again. We skipped last Saturday, but today we're going to catch up. We're going to have two stories. One is 70 times 7, and the next one is going to be payday at the vineyard. So these, these two stories have to do with money. The first one, 70 times 7, even though it has to do with money, the topic is different, but it has to do with money because the story here, it's about a parable that Jesus told uh, Peter when Peter asked, how many times must I forgive my brother um, if he sins against me? Seven times, he said, because he thought, oh, seven times sounds like a good number. In the Jewish law, they were supposed to uh, forgive three times. So he thought, okay, I'm going to go double and one more. Seven times? And Jesus started talking to Peter and the disciples and said, There was this man, a king, whose servant owed him um, 60 million denarii. And it was so much money that this man would not even be able to pay it, even if he worked every day of his life, minimum wage, uh, until the day he died. So when he, when this man saw how terrible his life was going to be, if you see the picture there, he was begging, begging the king, please, please forgive me. I, you know, I, I will work and work. I'll get the money. Just give me more time. And the family is there in the picture. And so the king was, uh, was a good king. And he felt sorry for the man. And he decided not to just let him pay later, but he decided to forgive the whole debt, everything. He didn't have to pay the debt anymore. And he sent him home. And as soon as the man went out of the, of the palace, he saw some of his servants. That means this man was a, a higher rank person, probably a very wealthy man. And so he saw his servants and then he saw one that owed him money. And he grabbed that servant and he said, pay me all the money that you owe me. And the, the servant did the same thing. Now the servant only owed him a hundred denarii, one denarius, which is a hundred denarii. Okay? And he owed his master, his king, um, one talent, which is 6,000 denarii which is 10,000 talent, which is 60 million. And so um, when he saw this man who owed him only one day's salary, he was so mean. And he sent him to jail, to prison, until he pays all the money he owed him. Now, this, this other man did not owe any money to the king anymore because the king forgave all his debt, remember? But he sent his servant to the, to the prison. And when another man that saw all this told the king, the king became very upset. And he sent for that uh, servant and sent him to prison himself because he had been so mean. And so when we are forgiven of our sins, because nobody is perfect, no one is perfect but God in heaven. And when we have been forgiven for all the things that we have thought, we have done, we have said, so many things that we do wrong every day of our life. Um, maybe when we're children, we don't do as many because we're very innocent. But as you get older, kids, watch out that your friends might make you do some things that you know are not the right things. Always try to do what Jesus would do. If you think that Jesus will wear that, or Jesus will do that, or Jesus will say that, uh, think it carefully, okay? And so the story for today is to remind us to be forgiving, to be kind to each other. And when he says 70 times 7, that was the answer that Jesus gave uh, Peter. Not 7, but 70 times 7. Because by the time you start counting, 
maybe 10 times or 20 times or even 50 times you forget the number unless you're a very you know diligent person with a little notebook or your phone or something checking on how many times you have forgiven each one of your brothers or sisters which means anybody that you know so it is a number so big that you cannot even keep a, a record for every person that does something wrong to you hopefully nobody will do so many bad things to you but if they do if you keep a record like that uh, it's not for one person it's for anyone around you so that 70 times 7 is just a number okay just so that you think about it no I need to forgive my brothers and sisters because God forgave me he sent his son to die for me and this uh, lesson is found in the book of Matthew uh, chapter 18 verses 21 through 35 and the memory verse says forgive your brother or your sister from the heart not only from the lips okay from the heart truly forgive them that is found in Matthew 18 verse 35 and now we're going to move to the next story which is something kind of related but it's a different time okay and it's pay at the vine vineyard sorry payday at the vineyard well this story tells us about a um, a landlord who needed to get some work done and he started hiring workers and he hired a whole bunch of workers because he knew there was a lot of work to be done and as the day went by and he came to check he saw that they might not be finished if if just let this amount of people work so after a certain time he went and hired more people and so that helped the ones that started from the morning but um, eventually later he sees that oh there's still it's almost night and they're not going to finish so they hire another he hired more people to, towards the very end but those people help for all the work to be finished uh, because they once they started in the morning they were very tired already so everybody worked worked, worked and they finished the work and he told his foreman to uh, pay the workers so the foreman came and said okay line up please the ones that work uh, at, the, at the last time, uh, please line up first and then so on, in order. So everybody's paying attention. How much are the ones that only worked a little bit are going to receive? And when he gave the payment for that person, oh, he's getting the same amount that he told us we're going to get. Maybe he's going to give us more. So he paid the money to those then moved away and then the other ones and they all got the same money so they got very upset it's like wait a second how come they get the same money as us we worked all day from morning to night and we get the same amount of money so they complain to to the foreman no to the to the owner of the place and um, he said to them did you not get what I promised you I was going to pay you? Yes, but those people were, okay, don't complain. I told you I will pay you this much, and that's what you got. And I can be generous to the other ones if I want to, because it's my money, right? And so, in this story, this story is found, let me see. It's in Matthew 20, verses 1 through 16. And the... And the memory verse is found in Acts chapter 10, 30, uh, verse 34. God does not show favoritism. And I believe we had that verse before for another lesson because we want to make sure that you understand God does not have favorites and God does not have any relatives other than children. We are all God's children. He doesn't have cousins and nephews and aunties and uncles. No. We are all his children, and because of his grace, we become his siblings, yeah? Because he sees us like brothers and sisters, but we are the children of God. And he does not show favoritism, does not help one more than the other, um, but we have to be thankful for everything that God 
gives us. And so just like God gives us and helps us, even though we don't deserve many of the things, um, we need to do the same with other people. If you see someone in need, let's help them. Not because we like that person, but because that person needs help. And so this is it for today. I hope you have a wonderful week and a beautiful Sabbath, hopefully not too hot. Um, and so I'll see you next week. Goodbye.